Spectrum Code Whisperer AI Code Generator, right? So this is the Code Whisperer is basically to uh, increase the productivity of the developer. So I will just touch upon this. So this is the basically, uh, if you see, uh, it helps to write code. It helps to scan code. It can be used uh, in multiple programming languages, Python, Java, JavaScript. Same way it can be integrated with multiple uh, IDs also. It can be integrated with Visual Studio Code. It can be integrated with PyCharm from JetBrains, or it can be integrated with some other IDEs also, right? So um, pricing, it is free for individual, right? Professional, it is uh, $19, but uh, we are mostly going to use individual version. There are different features. So this also, for this particular workshop, we will need you will have to create a builder id that i already shared with you in prerequisite but all these links uh, also i will share with you in the chat window here once you have visual studio code installed and you have gone to this link which i have shared with you right so what you will have to do is go to this extension in visual studio uh, here this is the extension and here you star uh, here you install this aws toolkit type aws toolkit here right once it appears you will have to install it you can see that it is toolkit amazon q code whisper and more right so uh, disable in my case it is already installed right once it is installed you will see this section here aws appearing here and you will see some uh, thing like that amazon q code whisper and all right so once we use this uh, maybe i can uh, quickly sign out from here right and uh, i can sign into it and please note that you will have to use this option uh, amazon q plus code whisperer right so you click on use for free with aws builder id once you click on here it will go uh, confirm it will ask confirmation proceed to browser click open it will ask for confirm and continue at the browser side uh, when i clicked on this link all right it it is asking me sign in with aws builder id which i already have so i am saying that i already have it or we can create my own build, builder id click on next it will ask me some password right um, which I will have to stop sharing for some time. Uh, once I have logged in or created my ID successfully, it will ask allow, which I am right doing. And your AWS toolkit for VS Code can now access your data. Close it. Go back to this, right? It says connected to AWS, right? Now it can give me. Uh, uh, that code start it can start giving me code suggestion i can go there right and at the bottom if you see it shows me code whisperer aws builder id is logged in right so workshop which i was talking about um, i think i have shared a link also i will share a detailed workshop guide also uh, with you all these links and all so code whisperer uh, basically once you are done uh, introduction again again here i will recommend that please use on your own don't use uh, at aws event configure your id so this is the step to configure your id right um, local id and all so you will have to clone um, once you are done you have to clone this repo this is so these steps i have done on my local laptop right in visual studio code for that matter you can use any uh, any code editor right so all these things are required for you to work on this and uh, yeah that's it i think i'll stop sharing my screen and uh, we'll wait for uh, more questions from your side in case you have right otherwise i think uh, I hope uh, you have uh, gained something out of this, right? Looking forward for your feedback. I will be 
glad to help you in your learning journey and in the process i will also learn a lot believe me in this workshop preparation i have learned a lot and uh, thank you so much uh, to you all as well as mala ma'am and ni triple t r also for giving this opportunity to me right and looking forward uh, for many more these kind of workshops with you guys thank you sir and thank you participants thank you sir for delivering such a good presentation and you have actually delivered a very good insight into the current ai techniques like generative ai aws generative ai services like bedrock amazon sage maker and you have initially given a, a, a basic idea of the key concepts like foundation models transformers and coders decoders etc